hang a, a round wall. Come on in, let's start. This is what we're going to do. We're going to hang this round wall here today. I already prepped the piece. I already cut it, measured it, and cut it. Now I'm going to show you what to do to make this thing uh, soft. All I'm using is uh, drywall mud. I'm going to put it on the top first because the top needs to soak a little bit longer than the rest of the stuff. I did that like that. I'm going to take the big knife and I'm going to smooth it all over there. Just smush it all up. And then you're going to see how easy this stuff is to bend when you do it this way. Now I prepped the piece. I took and put some lines on the other side. I'll explain to you when we get to that point. Why well, I put the lines where I did. Now when you do this, you don't want to let it sit for a long time because it starts to uh, soak in real quick. Now I cut, uh, instead of using a full piece for the bottom, I take it and cut a smaller piece because it's easier to bend. And then I'm going to take and put the bigger pieces on top. And I'm going to take a little of this off so it don't get on my hands. And that's about all I'm going to do. Now we're going to take and we're going to start to put that bugger in. And I'm going to smush it in. Marcy, you get that side over there. Tighten up a little bit, that makes 
this point over here easier to nail. Like I said, the reason I put a smaller piece in because it's easier to handle and it's the longest run that you have. See now these things aren't hitting the board, so I'm not going to nail them. See the difference in there? Now if I was to pull it back to there, this board would break. So I took from this point to this point. That's where the circumference is, not where these two pieces of wood is. That's it. 